Hi guys, I'm Elle and welcome back to Just Ironic. As you may have seen by the title of this video, today I'll be giving you 10 easy ways on how you can create a sustainable wardrobe on a college budget. So the first step in creating a sustainable wardrobe is to understand yourself. Look at what you're wearing, like your shirt and your pants or your dress or your shorts or whatever you're wearing now. Just ask yourself, why did I wear this today? Contemplate the meaning of clothing in relationship to your lifestyle. If clothing does not mean anything to you, maybe it does to others. So maybe ask your friends or your families what clothing means to them and how you can learn from them and creating stories and memories out of clothing if it doesn't really mean any anything to you right now. My second tip is to be curious and to start asking questions. This can be as simple as sending an email to your favorite brand and asking them where they made their clothing. This is super important in fast fashion because there isn't a lot of transparency in how our products were made. So just by asking simple questions, I think I'll start making you question what else you should know about your clothing, where it's coming from, and it'll get you started on being a little bit more sustainable because it's always on your mind. Step number three is to watch the film The True Cost. This will really provide you inspiration and insight through the documentary showing you the process of fast fashion. It'll tell you about the story of Rana Plaza and it'll show you the garment workers that make our fast fashion clothing. And I think that way it will help you form a more holistic version of what really sustainable fashion is and what sustainability can be. Step four is to say no to fast fashion. Try to avoid buying from fast fashion brands and even if clothing are cheap and trendy, just kind of think about what it means to you and why do you want it. And that goes back to the first step I was saying. Just make sure to ask yourself, why do I need this? Step five is to take your broken or dirty clothing to the tailor. By re-wearing and repurposing, you're avoiding using new resources which helps our mama earth. Tip number six is to learn how to sew. During quarantine, I've been doing a lot of sewing and embroidery and it's a beautiful skill and I think it'll help you go a long way in seeing how you can really extend the life of your products. Step seven is to buy from local thrift stores. You can actually find really high quality clothing that is both unique and stylish and affordable in the thrift store so definitely check it out when it's safe to do so. Step eight is to buy from online thrift stores. So this may be Depop, it may be Poshmark, and it may be eBay. They do classify as e-commerce resale sites but technically they're online thrift stores. You can send offers which is something that you can't do in real life thrift stores and you can always message the buyers and ask them questions. Also the perk of buying from these sites is that you have a wide axis of different brands so you just search in the search bar what brands you're interested in and it'll give you a whole range of options. If you're interested in checking out My Depop, Poshmark, and eBay, they'll be linked in my description. So tip number nine is to actually donate your clothing. Do not throw them in the landfill. This may not feel like you're building a sustainable wardrobe but it also is connected to how you dispose of clothing. I don't think it's sustainable to buy new clothing if you're not disposing of the old clothing you have in a sustainable way. Instead, give clothes that you no longer want to friends or to neighbors or to family members and this can be done in a clothing swap party. Plus, you can always donate it to local thrift stores or you can send it to local thrift stores online. I think Throw It Up is an amazing option if you want to send out your clothing um, to them and they'll give you like a little shipping thing where you can send it to them. Also, you can resell them on Depop, Poshmark, and eBay if you want to make a profit out of your old clothing. I think another great option is for you to take photos and put them on your Instagram and ask people if they're willing to pay a certain amount for the clothing. And then my last tip is to follow social media influencers such as Kristen Leo. She's a fellow YouTuber that makes amazing content on sustainable fashion. I think continuing to learn about this topic and to be engaged in this topic is something that is really important to keep sustainability in your head because it should not be limited to a wardrobe. Instead, I think it should extend towards a whole lifestyle. So I definitely recommend you immersing yourself with people that are talking about this on a 
regular basis online and I also recommend that you Google sustainable fashion bloggers. There's so many different options. So please find what you think is best for yourself. So if you want to read my blog, I'll link my blog in the description. My blog is focused on sustainable fashion, conscious consumerism, fair trade, and environmentalism. So if you're interested, feel free. And also, I just want to recommend you to keep learning. This is not a perfect process. It will definitely take time. And I highly recommend you take this as a step-by-step -step journey. Don't force yourself to do this all in one day. Take your time with it and enjoy the beauty of old clothing. You'll end up surprised that you may not even spend $1 to have more of a sustainable wardrobe because surprise, surprise, the most sustainable things you can have is what you already have in your wardrobe. Hopefully you liked this video and give it a thumbs up if you did and stay safe guys. Bye.